Nico and I are going back to Sabres today. I don't really have any specific goal in mind, just trying to find some cute, weird, and fun stuff to show y'all, basically. It's already pretty late in the day. It's customer appreciation day, which means everything's 25% off. So without further ado, let's see what the f is in there. Oh, they already switched everything around in here again. We got Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> what is this creature? It's a psychedelic giraffe. Oh my god. Flounder. That horse is kind of magical. <laughs> Big toucan. He's cute. <laughs> He's handsome. He's cute. Little tender little bear. Oh Who's my. this guy? Wiener dog with head turn. <laughs> Art. <laughs> That's Picasso. Holy shit. Genuine Picasso at the thrift. <laughs> Ooh. There's one thing I hate. It's Hello Kitty with eyelashes. Aww. But she's a shopping I kitty. I gotta tell my mom that. Yeah. She buys me stuff. <laughs> I'm like, does she have eyelashes? Oh my. Oh, look at this. I don't know, but he sure is. A perfume looking. bottle or something? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Weird. That's so cute. This one looks like you. Oh my god. This is one of those weird little, like, things from Claire's. Really? I think so. I don't yeah. know what that is. It was like a big thing when I was little. Aww. Cute. You like this stuff about hugs? Yeah. What about hula dog? This is a pretty wind chime, honestly. Oh. Pretty in like a really fun festival rave kind of way. This guy's cute. Kind of sweet. What the hell is that? Look how gross this one is. Is it a stapler? Yeah. Oh, and like a stapler. Take a router? Terrifying. Might just be weird enough. Just kidding, I don't want that thing. It's haunted for sure. Ooh, how precious. Mm -hmm. Catnap in progress. <laughs> Should have had that yesterday. We were conked out. It's very wonky. He's crazy. <laughs> I used to love watching uh, Woody Woodpecker though when I was a kid. Any good crap? Nope. Mysterious bag of cat toys. Hmm. I want some gently used cat toys. Oh, uh, Are these Pokemon cards? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go ahead and say that is not a Pokemon. <laughs> not sure. I like the color though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Make a beefcake, oh. you know what I'm saying? I like this old ass package. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> like pink and forks for us? We need forks, everybody. These are not good enough. Bit of hearty energy. <laughs> it's kinda cool. Let's try to see if there's like a local shop or something. I don't know. Is this a tiki mug? Yeah, I think so. Oh. That's scary. Yeah? What the hell is it even? I don't know. It's supposed to have more gems yeah. on it, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, just what you want to see every morning when you oh wake up. Oh my god. Why? Why? That's the most depressing thing I've ever seen. Jeez. I have to remember this forever. Baby. Nice little set of four. These are kind of pretty too. They match. Yeah, tons of those. Tons Ooh, of them. Ricky. Ooh. Had this one in my house growing up, had multiple of them. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't have any of these other ones though. Oh baby, look at this fancy hog. Is that a hog? Yeah. Are we sure? Yeah. That thing is sick. See? Oh, <laughs> does that even fit them right? Can I keep them? <laughs> well, if you want to buy them <laughs> and find a place for them <laughs> and uh, clean them, like polish them, them feed them. <gasps> Shot glass. Ooh. I've never seen one of those. Damn, look at all these different ones. This is somebody's whole collection. Oh, little shot glasses. Look at it. This is the normal kind. A shot glass has a cactus inside of it. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. This is fun. <laughs> oh, cute. You see the one right next to it, too? Oh, that's the one I used to have. Yeah? Yeah, I sold it on cool. Depop a long time ago. Ah! <laughs> I got it. <laughs> no thermos. It's gotta be around here somewhere. They're trying to sell it separately. Oh my god, those bitches, they You know that they do that. Oh. I don't think I trust if you drink that much coffee at once. <laughs> Might be the end of me. Ooh. <laughs> what, do you, what would you put in between them there? Cat food? Soap? Oh, soap. <laughs> That's a big it's a pepper. It's a 
purse? Ow! <laughs> Oops. Everything hurts me all the time. <laughs> Why do they make things so hard to open? So I can't open it properly. Follow. What child can? Mm. It's not more cat toys than what the kids toys. Oh my god. Cats, kids, what's the difference? Well, smell. Look at that. Oh. Could be side eyes new cat bed. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, walrus content. Walrus content. <laughs> He's sweet. He is <laughs> handsome. Good for him. Good for him. Oh, honorable mention. Mm. Yeah, this thing's sad excuse for a trunk. Yeah. <laughs> Grab Big Alvin, I want to see him. Does he look new? I can't tell. It's hard to say. 1990. Okay. Mm, the year of my birth. Look, porpoise. Brrr. A lot of sea mammals. You oh, baby, don't say that. Oh, look at his nasty You're hurting his feelings. Oh, his whiskers are worse than mine. Why would they price this at six dollars? Like he's, he's gonna have a really hard time finding the right person to love him. Yeah, them. no one's paying six bucks. You can Sorry, even you stick your it. hand up inside of him. Ooh. Oh, baby. Yuck. Oh. He's missing an eye. Maybe he's too. got a face only a mother could love. That's the first thing I noticed was the eye. I didn't even notice that. I was looking at his gross teeth and his nasty whiskers. Should I take him for a ride. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Just admiring the hippos over though? here. No. Have you seen him? <clears throat> he needs to be loved. Look, he's missing an eye. <laughs> what is this? Tiny scares? Tiny scares. What's up with this? Face your fear and feel my fur. Ooh. I don't like that. I'm gonna put that in the cart. See what happens. Just hold your hippo tight. I am. Trust me. I've forgotten mammal. I think you might look good on one of your purses. There's another Scooby. Scoobs. Odie. Odie. Yeah, we don't have him. He looks really cute. Oh my god, I had this sad turtle once. Really? Yeah. That poor hippo is missing an eye. <laughs> looks really funny on camera. <laughs> Stop focusing on his imperfection. <sighs> Sorry. Look a weasel. I don't like this thing. Yeah. That leather face. I think it is. I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, this teddy is really cute. Look, a stingray! Oh, stingray. <laughs> I really like sea mammals. I really like sea creatures. It's a bonus if they're mammals. It's <laughs> oh. oh. pretty dope. Might be worth its weight in gold. Maybe. Hey, what's that towel over there? It's like a beach teddy. Ooh, hold on. There's another one down here. Whoa, pretty dope. Pretty faded, but pretty cool. Oh, yeah. What? Sure, toss her in. You want? Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> Grab it. Ooh. Oh my god, it's so cute. What do we do? <gasps> the colors are so pretty. It has a really cute material too. Ooh. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> hey, what is that thing? He has a lot of problems. Everybody feels a little bad for hippie. Me and my hippo, my hippo and I. Well, just keeps farting. <laughs> got a lot of problems. You gotta put a microphone on him. Yeah, it's kind of weird as hell. This looks like hair at the bottom almost. It's creepy. We cool as like a little veil situation without the hair. Got the little okay. super fake Mirakami. <laughs> it looks good with my purse yeah. and my hippo. It's a vibe. <laughs> Ooh. Shiny. Bling, bling, bling. Like straw. It's like leopard print kind of. Yeah. Is that what that's supposed to be? I think so. Oh well. It's pretty. Makeup brush holder. Looks like it. would be a lot of makeup brushes. Yeah. That shit's bonkers. Hello critters. Paisley critters. And that. They are cute. This dirty little bitch. Oh. All right, angels. It's time for me and you to go off and do our own thing here in the thrift store. Nico is gonna go over to the t-shirts and start seeing if he can find anything for himself. First thing I saw were these boots, which definitely remind me of the Jeffrey Campbell Lita's a little bit. And I actually have boots just like this in a black and white color scheme that I love wearing when it's really cold outside.
These are so freaking weird. I had to pick them up and just give them a closer look because I'm just like, what is actually going on with these? Like, I don't even know how I would describe the style. It's almost like bowling shoe, but like not quite. These are also an honorable mention. I could see somebody rocking the shit out of those pink cheetah rain boots. Just that person is not me, unfortunately. I decided to look at these because I saw the cute little rhinestone bow poking out and I'm pretty much drawn to anything with that Y2K rhinestone energy so I thought I'd see if they were worth my time but unfortunately not these ones were sort of cool because they definitely have an indie sleaze kind of like Mary Kate and Ashley energy and they're definitely from the mid 2000s judging by the cute little tag that says not rated and just the font in general so I thought those were pretty cool again if they were cheaper I probably would have gotten them and these ones definitely have like a baby fat energy but I couldn't figure out what brand these actually were if you know let me know in the comments I feel like the shoes today just aren't really hitting that well. Like, usually I'll find a couple that I love, but not really today. These would be really cute if they weren't so dirty, but they look like they were literally designed to get dirty. And I was super, like, shocked to find out that they're actually Uggs, because, you know, they just look like they would be maybe something from, like, Forever 21, kind of. But... I mean, still cute, but yeah, just a little too destined for the garbage for my likings. If this had been a year or two ago, I definitely would have snagged this little wicker white table because I went through a wicker obsession and same with this magazine rack. I'm kind of starting to phase out of that kind of stuff. I'm definitely moving on from 60s and 70s into 70s mixed with 80s, but focusing on the 80s. This bike is so cute though. Like I love the vivid bright color scheme honestly if that would have fit in my car I might have gotten it <laughs> I don't have a bike anymore because my ex lost it years ago so maybe someday I'll get another one this is a new rack of clothes that I thought I'd just quickly take a peep at but it was pretty trashy it was looking pretty sad so I'm gonna start going through the tank tops this one I love the color of this bright orange always reminds me of Juicy Couture mid 2000s. I feel like if it was a little shorter, it would be better though. Cause that ruching is a little strange. This one I was super drawn to because of that very sparkly flowy little pattern on it. And the color scheme is super cool. It ended up being dead stock wet seal, which honestly is really hard for me to pass up. But because of the weird little gold sequins running through it, it's definitely giving Esmeralda from Hunchback of Notre Dame, but not in like a way where I think it would sell very well so I decided to let it go because it definitely looks more costumey but it's still fun to find dead stock wet seal this one is just silly I'm just like really Disney made this insane and then of course I found this cat bodysuit, which is, as anyone could have guessed from Shein I figured it would either be Shein or forever 21 just judging by the look of it the thing with the tank tops here is there are always a thousand and most of them are straight up the ugliest thing you've ever seen in your life. So I have to show off the ones that are honorable mentions in any way because it's just literally so bad. I think the best thing I ever found in the tank top section here was when I found a 2000s no doubt ribbed tank top and that one had like old English on it. It was so cool. Also, I can spot free people from a literal mile away. So when I saw these sequins, I knew for a fact that that was going to be free people. And it is. It's really pretty, but because it's a bodysuit and because it's such a light color, I decided to let it go. Um, is anyone's depression cured from reading this t-shirt? No? Okay. Good thing we tried. This one is pretty cute, but like so wrinkly, but like literally, you know, it's hard to find anything good, like I said, so I'm showing you guys because we gotta work with what we got. This one I thought had potential because of that crochet, but it is literally the ugliest shape you could possibly imagine. This is one of the very ugliest things I found today, and I am just baffled at who even like designed this or thought it was a good idea. Like very few people could pull this off and I just am shook. This one is really cool and has this super cool like beaded neckline. I just don't usually buy stuff like this for my shop, but if you have that type of shop, that would be perfect. Just like straight up bohemian cuteness.
Always like a good graphic tee. This Jimi Hendrix one was pretty cool. It just had like a cool like faux leather sleeve that I liked to it. This one is just silly. And then I found this Miss Me t-shirt that unfortunately is one of the less cute Miss Me shirts I've ever seen, so I let it go. But I love finding Miss, Th Miss Me when I'm thrifting or at the bins. It's always a good time because that is a super good brand to look for for Depop right now. This is another cute little boho piece that I liked the details of, but just not quite right for my shop unless I was at the bins. My anxiety is chronic, but this ass is iconic. That's it, that's the whole shirt. Bye. This little billabong tee, or maybe it was Roxy. I think it's Roxy. It was pretty cute, but just don't need it. Until I found this little DKNY crop top. Okay, now we're finally getting somewhere. Oh my God. That literally took so long to find out of all of this garbage. Like, holy shit. Here's another wet seal piece that I'm just like, what? the hell is going on here like how would anybody wear this and make it look good like I honestly really like the neckline and I like the color scheme but because of that netted material I just don't know what the fuck you would wear under that at all like a bikini or something like I just don't understand here's another really cute piece for if you were running a boho depop of some sort it's very cool just not something that I would probably do great at selling and then somebody abandoned this cute little bath towel with animals on it, so I had to check that out real quick. Nico came over and showed me the one thing that he finally found looking through the entire t-shirt section, which is a modern Taz Looney Tunes t-shirt, which of course is Depop Gold. And he also brought me over this Hello Kitty tee to take a look at. This one's kind of fun. Girls with guns, glittery font, a little too American for my likings, but the sentiment remains. This one was pretty cool, definitely an honorable mention. I love the Florida Lee and Angel Wing design. That's definitely something you're gonna wanna be looking for if you're a Depop seller. But I decided to go with this one and put this one in the cart because this is definitely a piece that's gonna do well on Depop for sure. This one I maybe would have gotten if it didn't have these flaws. This is a Rock and Republic tee with a glittery eagle. Priced a little too high for the flaws that it had, so I let it go. They also had this kind of like rainbow rolling stones Rock and Republic shirt. Honestly, all kinds of that stuff today. Um, Local Celebrity is one of my absolute favorite Y2K brands, and I have a couple pieces from them that I love, but this one is just not that cute, unfortunately. I was so excited when I saw the tag. But it just says bonjour, which is such a bummer. I feel like this shirt would be really cute if it was in literally any color other than royal blue. I hate royal blue. Like I, I just don't foresee myself ever owning anything in royal blue. Here's another Rock and Republic t-shirt. This one still has the tags on it, originally from Kohl's. It says rock, white, and blue though. Ugh. Me and America are just done. Like, I'm done with her. Me and her do not get along anymore, so no thank you. Uh, these creepy cats, I don't know, I thought I'd show it off. It's giving art teacher. This one I probably would have gotten if it wasn't missing so many rhinestones, unfortunately. It's like a very cute broken English kind of shirt. It said something like, be lucky, be a star, but not quite that. And oh my God, I love these straps so much, but the graphic is so awful. Like, what is going on here? Ugh, these vines, like just haphazardly drawn, but those straps, god that would be so freaking cute if it just didn't have those leaves on it. This one was an honorable mention too because I do love the whole like 90s early 2000s dragon print and yin yang stuff. Obviously this is very modern, it's Fashion Nova and it's priced a little too high for me to snag due to it being Fashion Nova. Of course, if it was from the early 2000s, that'd be a great deal, but it's not, so goodbye. This shirt I thought was really cool and I got really excited when I found it. And then the more I looked at it, the less I liked it because I thought it was a dragon and it definitely was not. I also found this cute little Tweety Bird shirt, but it looked more like a night shirt than a t-shirt. And so I just, I kind of get like a little lazy when it comes to listing pajama stuff. I thought these were Bobby Jack, but ended up being the Aeropostale monkey, which I totally forgot existed. And then I found these Hot Topic trouser pants in a like baby pink and black colorway, which actually they did not overprice. I'm really shocked. 
Same with these. These are definitely way cheaper feeling though. These look like they could be Shein, but I don't think they are because it didn't have the Shein tag unless somebody ripped it off, like whatever. But I grabbed those two and these are such a pretty color. Like that's definitely like one of my favorite shades of pink. So, you know. This skirt had potential, but something about it just was a little off, but I almost put it in the cart. Almost, we were so close. Target, Target, ugh, kill me. This one's kind of cute, but it feels really cheaply made. It's Rue 21, so it was cheaply made. I like Rue 21 though, especially if it was from the 2000s. This one, I'm like, maybe, like I'm thinking about it. If it was at the bins, I'd definitely get it, but I don't know, we're gonna have to see. This little star one was Nasty Gal, and that one in front of it with like the purple and blue, I could tell was a really nice material, like wool, so I definitely thought about getting that one too, but it ended up just being like a weird kilt thing. This one right here, like it definitely was also broken, like it was supposed to have like a little hook, but it didn't. Oh my god, I love this one, and I've been looking like for something like this for myself for such a long time now, and I've been looking online, so the fact that I found it here in the thrift, I am screaming with happiness, honestly, right now, and it fits me. Now that I'm home, I can tell you guys, it fits, and I love it. Okay, hold up. This one is really cute and it's a dollhouse, which is definitely a 2000s brand. I'm not sure that this one is from the 2000s because of the Marshalls tag on it, because that looks like a pretty recent Marshalls tag, but still, oh my God, so cute. And the price is right, so she's going in. And then this Union Bay skirt, are you fucking kidding me? Like suddenly finding this skirt has been worth my entire efforts of looking through this thrift store. The skirts are saving me right now. Like, I spent so many hours in the t-shirts and tank tops, and I wish I had gone to the skirts first now, because look at all this gold. Like, look at this one. Crushed velvet maxi skirt. It is witchy and precious and so cool. And again, it's not even overpriced. I am loving this. It's like they saved all the coolest stuff for me, and they were like, we're gonna price it at three or four dollars, and that'll do. Everything else, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I can't argue with that. This one is adorable too, and it looks just like one that I got here one of the last times I was here. So we're definitely getting her. She's from Vanity and very cute. I love the little bow designs and eyelash lace is always a win. So hell yeah. The skirts are really coming through for me right now and I am so freaking excited. Okay, this is a fan favorite for anyone who loves a good 60s floral pattern. This one is so cute. This old Lane Bryant dress, definitely like a grandma in her garden kind of vibe. Love it. This one is more what I'm looking for though, which is tacky, trashy, 2000s chaos. And I love it. The only thing I don't like about it is the little like line in the front on the chest line. So we'll have to see about that, but this tag is also super sick. The dress, not so much. And they actually had two of this exact dress at the thrift store, which is kind of weird. I also found this cute little top shop dress in a beige and black colorway. And then Nico came over just in time to watch me find this crazy shrimp lady shirt, which I know it's going to be really disappointing to find out that I did not buy that but I do not need to draw even more attention to myself than I already do when I'm out and about. So I had to let it go. I hope you guys understand. I don't want to be known as the crazy shrimp lady. Maybe like cute shrimp girl, then I would consider it. All Nico's found since the last time I saw him is this CD, which he was really disappointed about because the CD in the case isn't even the right CD. So Nico's kind of striking out today, so that's too bad, but sometimes it do be like that. It's definitely harder to find cool 
like men's clothes in the thrift store than it is to find women's clothes. So I totally understand. He also found this sheet music, which he was vibing with. So I think that's all he's probably getting. We'll see. I found this little Nua Tags Urban Outfitters dress that I used to have the exact same one of. I didn't wear it very much, but I also got it for super sale. Like literally like probably like $10 when I bought it from Urban Outfitters. And it's cute. It's like Christmas gothy kind of like fun, but I passed. I thought about getting this Betsy Johnson backpack too, but it had that little like nail polish stain on the back. So after looking up on Mercari, I decided to pass because it's not like they sell for a lot. And I knew that stain was gonna bring the value down. I kind of regret not getting the sequin dress though because that thing was really cute, but I did let it go, too expensive. Then I found this on the ground like after i had already been through this area a couple times like who could like resist him i also found this ditched bootleg prada purse in the bed stuff like no freaking way like that's definitely coming home are you fucking kidding me so that's exciting my cart is looking really cute um i'm happy i didn't think this thrift haul was honestly gonna go down like this because it started off so slow Ooh, I found some cute pillows. I love Wacky Packages stickers. They are so fun. So I didn't even know they made stuff like this. I think that's super cool. Definitely gonna have to get this. And then I also, Nico spotted this little Barbie pillow, which is adorable. That's coming home too. All right, guys, it's time to say goodbye. And please say goodbye to Mr. Hippo. If there is one wish for me today, at this thrift trip it's that somebody finds it in their heart to take home this hippopotamus and love him as much as i did goodbye hippopotamus hello angels it's like almost a whole week later now since we were at savers per usual but i'm finally ready to show you our haul but the first thing i guess i'll start with is this really cool little bootleg louis vuitton scarf because it also has the cute little like Mirakami like flower kind of dude on it. A very poorly drawn version of it, of course, but still super duper cute. This was $6.99, which isn't horrible. Honestly, it's just hard to even find like bootleg Louis Vuitton in the thrift stores normally. I usually find stuff like this in the bins more so than the normal thrift stores. Obviously I had to grab that. This would look really cute as like a headscarf for somebody or like tied onto a bag or something or just used as decor in a room kind of like I have mine right now. So yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this yet, but obviously I had to grab it. All right, I'm gonna start off strong because I don't have a lot. Got this Woody Woodpecker tin box. Cause why the hell not? Two bucks. It's so funny because it actually has this Goodwill tag ripped off of it and then uh, Savers one put onto it. So I guess whoever got it at Goodwill decided they didn't need it anymore. I love it, all the different like fit focuses, all the different faces he has on there. Just thought it was cool. Nice little pickup, do something with it. <laughs> Yard sale or hold something in it. Got a lot of crap. Next thing I got, I wasn't super sure if I was gonna get or not, but I am really into this kind of like Y2K, like varsity style stuff lately. Like cute little number sign type things. So I found this little DKNY crop top and I like that it's in glitter font as well. This one is a little more expensive. It's a size medium and I haven't tried it on yet because there is a chance that I might wear this one a little bit but if not or when I'm done with it of course I will put this in my Depop and I'll probably price it at $30 for starters. I spent so much time going through every rack <laughs> at Savers, every single t-shirt, every single sweater. This is literally my only piece of clothing that I found which I'm not even like crazy stoked on but I thought it was still cool enough to pick up. Uh, uh, Taz, I woke up like this. Just a cool ringer with like the light blue and then this kind of navy blue. That is a Depop piece or Mercari, maybe whatnot. We'll see. <laughs> Next thing I got is this cute little kind of like graffiti style dress, which I actually did already wear once. I wore it, me and Anna went to go get margaritas a few days ago and I just needed to change into something really quick because I wasn't really planning on going anywhere that day. So I was probably wearing something like this and I just wanted to like take it up a notch. So I threw this on. And the only thing I don't like about it is this like crisscross in the neckline here, which I know that I could probably just cut that off if I really wanted to because 
this is just conducted with a little bit of thread here but I might sell it I'm not really sure but yeah this was a little more expensive too it was like $12 about and it's a size medium from the brand Love Nation definitely just like Nico said um, looks like very much something that we would find at Rainbow so just a little piece like that not like worth a lot by any means but I definitely think it's really cute and I like the color scheme a lot so I love green and pink together so got some dope hand styles on there yeah I'm a fan all right this next thing I went through like everything already she has way more to go through there because women's section is just like 10 times as big as the men's section so I spent a bunch of time looking at the CD I came across this, which I was super excited about because I actually like this band, Senseless Things. Jamie Hewlett, that does the Gorillaz art, does like a lot of their art as well. It's the back. The one kicker is it's the wrong CD in there. I spent so long trying to find like the case to the CD that's in there so I could maybe switch them back, but it wasn't there. Hopefully that CD is good. I think it's the same kind of style of music, honestly. Yeah, I picked it up just basically because this booklet has like a lot going on in it. It's like, you know, 12 pages or something. So I thought, whatever, two bucks, <laughs> pick it up. So the next thing I got is this cute little cheetah print tube top and it's super duper stretchy. Oh. It is a size medium. It's by the brand Kaylee Chic. Totally never heard of that. Again, not something that's like necessarily worth a lot by any means. Um, this one was like $6.50. And again, I might wear this because I think it's really cute. I haven't tried it on yet. But otherwise, if I don't, I think it would do fine on Depop for like probably like 25 or so. I thought I'd grab it. It's definitely got like a little scene vibe to it seen Y2K energy. I was honestly really struggling when I was looking in the thrift store originally because it was, again, like Nico said, taking forever to find anything of any worth whatsoever, just in terms of like aesthetic. So I was getting a little frustrated, honestly. And then I went over to the skirt section and I found so many freaking cute skirts. And luckily the skirt section is only one big rack, unlike the blouses and tank tops and things like that where it actually takes up like eight or more racks and they're huge so one of the best skirts that I found that I actually wore as well recently is this um, American Eagle little mini skirt and this is like a size two or something I don't know but it fit me so I'm really happy about it I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit over my ass or not but it turns out we're good. So I'm probably definitely gonna hang on to this one for like a while at least, but I still have to try on some of these other ones that I got. Mm. So this is probably one of the cutest ones that I found. It's from Union Bay. And I know that people are definitely really into this style right now because it's very Y2K, this little like ruffled bottom and just like denim mini skirts in general are kind of trending right now. So this one's a size five and I doubt that this one will fit me honestly. It's going to be too big so I probably will have to sell this one and I'm gonna have to compare kind of what they're going for right now because I know they are so trendy but probably at least $30 I could get out of this or more plus shipping so I was super happy when I found that and the other one that I found that's also incredibly cute is this really dead stock like dollhouse skirt and dollhouse is definitely also like a y2k brand this one might be a little more modern because it does have the marshall's tag on it still but it does have the cute little like dollhouse keychain still on it and everything and this one's also a size five actually so i'll probably definitely be putting this one on my depop as well and i kind of like that this one is a little more dark wash and it has the little like fraying edges on the bottom too i think somebody's really gonna like this so yeah i'll definitely probably try to get again 30 dollars for this if I can especially because it's new and some of the other skirts I found that I will for sure be selling is this one from Vanity and this one is really similar to one that I got one of the last times we were at Savers and that one I can't remember what brand it was but I did sell it for almost $30 or 30 I'm not really sure but it was very similar with this lace and the lace on this one it has like a bow pattern running through it but that one I know that I had before this didn't have the bows it was more just like an eyelash lace style like this one is but yeah so freaking cute really stretchy too this one is the cutest like larger size skirt that I found which is always harder to find and I know a lot of people like definitely when I'm doing whatnot shows want larger sizes 
so I tried to make sure that I find some cute things. This one is a size large and it's from Vanity, which I used to love shopping at Vanity when I was little, so I always think that's fun. I also found this skirt, which is... This one it says, I think, free size. Yeah, so this one is pretty stretchy. And this one is very, like, gothic, like, forest fairy kind of vibes. Kind of witchy with the crushed velvet and these, like, sequins. And this one's pretty long, too. Lots of mixed textures. And this one, it says the brand is called The Counter. So, yeah, this one will definitely be in my Depop as well. And I'll probably price this at 30 plus shipping, too. Got one last thing, which, again is also due to me having so much time at the thrift. I do usually look at the books. I usually just check out like the art books in case there's like a really cool photography one. So those can be worth a lot sometimes. But this was in like where the magazines are. It's old sheet music. I believe it said it's from 1936. Well, look at that guy. I'm a millionaire. I'm gonna hold on to this until I am a millionaire so I can frame it, put it on the wall. I can be like, oh, the humble beginnings. I remember when that's the only thing I found at the thrift. <laughs> but yeah, look at him. Cufflinks shining. Necklace just on point. Got the big flares on. I couldn't resist it. It was only a dollar. Like, come on. Sick. So this next one I found right at the very end when we were about to leave. And somebody definitely must have abandoned it because it was in an aisle that we had already went through. It was kind of in like the bedding area. And I am noticing that one of the straps is pretty wonky, honestly. Like this thing kind of looks like it's ready to fall off over here. But it's like a bootleg Prada purse and it's kind of like a pillow style one which I think is really cool. It's got the little Prada emblem right in the middle and this was only seven dollars too which is nice that they you know weren't trying to tax on it because usually they will even if it's fake I feel like at Savers but again it's really hard to even find like bootleg like bags like this at the normal thrift store. It's definitely something that I come across way more often at the bins so I had to grab that because I'll probably use it or I'll sell it at a yard sale. They do really well at yard sales and and flea markets. One of the more random things I got is this teddy scares that we found in the kids aisle. And this I wasn't like so sure about if I should get it or not. So I looked it up on Mercari and I did see one of this exact kind going for like $80 plus shipping. And a lot of people actually had it in their cart. So that's a really good sign. Even if I can't get $80 for it, I'll obviously make way more than the $7 it costed me. Plus I had a coupon. So it's actually a little less than that even. I thought I should grab it. Um, I hadn't really heard of these. It definitely seems kind of like, uh, what's it called? Those, oh, Living Dead Dolls. It's, like, it's kind of like a ripoff on those, it seems like, being that they come in a box like this and stuff. But yeah, he's kind of cool. I also found this Pocahontas lunchbox, which I have totally sold this exact same one before. And I actually, I think somebody like liked it on my Depop like a couple days ago. And it's so funny because I sold it years ago. So they must have seen it in somebody's likes and like, you know, the notification came up and then I was like, oh, I remember that. And then I literally like found another one, like, Scary. yeah, the next day or later. So I figured I definitely had to grab that. It's pretty clean in here. It doesn't have the thermos, unfortunately, but I think this was only, yeah, it was like $2 and then on sale a little bit. So I'll definitely be selling this on my Depop. I don't know how much those go for right now. Definitely not like a lot, but they're still really cute and they're fun to have. This is one of the only good t-shirts that I found and it's good because stuff like this does really really well on Depop. This is definitely a very like gothic emo scene kind of style t-shirt. The brand is LOL Vintage. It's a size large and it's got this cute little metallic spiderweb graphic going on. And this one was actually only $3.50 too which is a really good price because they are not normally pricing their t-shirts that low anymore. So it's funny which ones they do decide they want to get rid of just really fast for whatever reason. Because sometimes it ends up being the ones that I want the most. So it's nice when that works out. I also, yeah, for whatever reason, found these plaid Hot Topic pants for $3.50, which again is like way underpriced compared to everything else they were selling that was less cute than these. So I don't know what's up with that, but these are a size XL actually, and they kind of have like a tapered leg. And I think these are really dope. Like they seem to be in pretty good shape too. They got nice pockets and the color scheme is just really cool. Kind of like schoolgirl, but also like punk, depending on how you style it. So I thought those would be good for my shop and I'll probably price those at like 25 plus shipping. I also found 
in the pants section these which these definitely seem like they're pretty cheaply made like a little more of like a thin material that's a little more prone to pilling but they're still really cool and again they were only three dollars so I had to grab these I'm not sure where these are from because it doesn't say it definitely is giving a sheen vibe though so it could be for all I know but it doesn't say that anywhere so it just has one of these really simple like size tags that say M so who knows but yeah it also has this cool little o-ring over here so you could like loop like a belt through it or something I think they're fun I'll sell these for pretty cheap probably like 20 bucks this is so. cool. Yeah, I think they're dope. And last but not least, almost, is that when I was about to leave, I was like going through my cart in the shoe section and the shoe section is across from where the bags are. And I just kind of like all of a sudden noticed this like furry thing on the ground that had like fallen underneath the rest of the bags. And when I picked it up, it was this cute little bunny lunch bag. And this definitely just like reminds me perfectly of like, my whole thing which is like making scarves with stuffed animals and like making my little bag clips and stuff that I've been giving away on whatnot so I was like yeah this is like basically the whole vibe and it's like new with tags it is a little dirty like on the little paw pads so I'm gonna have to clean it before I sell it but this will be available as well and I think somebody's really gonna like it I did have to also clean the inside because it has a little bit of dinginess right now you don't have to use it as a lunch bag obviously if you don't want to you could just use it as like a purse so I thought it was super cute and I had to grab that and then also right as we were about to leave I saw this little wacky packages tag sticking out of the pillow section and I was like hold the fuck up what is that and it's this silly little coffee pillow that says heavily coffee full of nuts and bolts <laughs> I don't fucking know. Honestly, it's kind of a lamer, wacky packages item because some of their items are really fucking cool and funny. Like I have I have a lot of the stickers still from when I was a teenager. I started kind of collecting them. I still have a little collection. And yeah, some of them are super funny. This one's like so-so, but obviously it's new with tags and it's still cool. So I had to grab it. So also, right when we were leaving the pillows section, Nico noticed this Barbie one. So that's why neither of these... I don't think ended up in the thrift with me portion because we found them right as we were about to leave but yeah this one is literally from like 1998 i think so i obviously had to get that oh 2002 so yeah it's officially vintage and it's super cute it's in really good shape too this was like three dollars but yeah i am a big fan of the color scheme and that new barbie movie is coming out now so I think Barbie is more popular than ever. So I'm definitely going to put this on Depop and sell it. I'm sure they're and Mercari, like most of this stuff, I'll list both places. But it seems like something that would do good on Depop right now. But yeah, that's it. A smaller haul. Again, just like, yeah, harder to find good stuff at that saver's in large quantities because it does take all damn day to get through that store it's true and usually we'll be there right up until it's almost closing time just to get this little pile of stuff so i hope you guys did like what you saw today and if you do want to buy anything from either of us you could reach out to us on instagram mine is one sick kitten with all letters and his is 1-800-GHOST-STAMP and if you want to buy it directly from one of us on our Depops, then you can just message us on Depop. And mine is One Sick Kitten with the number one. And his, again, is 100 Ghost Dance. And also make sure if you haven't yet and you want to that you sign up for Whatnot so you can hang out with us live. So we've been doing that once a week and it's been so, so, so much fun. And I'm always also willing to sell things directly on there. If you do want to buy anything from my Depop, I could always list it for you during the live. So check it out. We love you guys so, so, so much.